Hey everyone, it's Jeff Salzenstein, and in today's video, we're going to talk about the forehand volley. Specifically, what you need to be doing with your upper body when you see that it comes to your forehand side. Now, there are a lot of misconceptions out there. I've heard it over and over again from various players and even coaches. They talk about turning the shoulders on the volley when they see that the ball comes, like this extreme turn like this. And um, I've even heard this term, like, feel like you have handcuffs with your your hands here. So I'm here to tell you that that is the wrong way of doing things. So if you've seen any videos or if you worked with any coaches that tell you to turn like this, you're doing it incorrectly. You can continue to do it that way, but you just won't be volleying like guys like Roger Federer, Patrick Rafter, and all, basically all the great volleyers on tour that play now and that played in the past. So what you want to do, and I'll give you a quick shadow stroke version, what you want to do is you want to focus on keeping your hips and your shoulders facing the net more. So when you get ready to hit the volley, or when you see the ball is coming, feel like this offhand comes out in this direction more and your shoulders are going to face the net more. So you don't want to get turned like this. You do want to make this move right here. The arm will come across a little bit, but you just want to feel like your shoulders are facing the net more. If it goes any more than a 45 degree angle, you're in big trouble. So I've got a student with us today. Jordan, come on in. Jordan's going to work with us today. How you doing today? Thanks, Jeff. Yeah, it's Good. a pleasure to have you here. I know you're a 4-5 player. You play a couple times a week. You're an avid player. Would you agree that you've been taught to uh, turn your shoulders? Have you heard definitely, that before? Definitely have. That's... Okay, so we're going to kind of change that up a little bit today. We're going to feed you some balls, all right? Excellent. All right, Jordan, we're, dis we're dispelling myths right here. I want you to go ahead and do it the wrong way. I want you to exaggerate the shoulder turn when you make the first move. Good. So I see that a lot. Just do it again. Turn the shoulders. Yes. Good. And keep your hands a little more in front, but still stay sideways. Good. Turn your shoulders again. Excellent. Okay. So that's the wrong way of doing it. Now we're going to do it the right way. I want you to focus on keeping your shoulders facing the net as much as you can. Almost feel like you're open. You're not turning at all. Good. Even less than that. See if you can make your off hand go towards me. Good. Even more. Exaggerate. Better. Okay, now I want you to exaggerate the extra turn again, so do it incorrectly so we can see the difference. Good, there we go. Now I want you to face the net more when you make your first move. Good, excellent. Good, that's awesome. So as you just saw in the last demonstration, we had Jordan focusing on doing it the wrong way and the right way. So Jordan, go ahead and get into this position where you're turning, extra turn. This is what I see some coaches teaching and this is what I see your some players doing you can take that off hand off and then look forward there I see that on the volley and what we want to work on go back to the ready position is when you make the first move you come around here you really want to feel like you lead with the hand just like that and this hand just can stay stay somewhere over here like that and then you can just move to the ball so go ahead and step to the ball now that's it and so you don't have to exaggerate this extra turn. You can just keep this hand out like this. I really hope you received a ton of value from this lesson today so you can go take action on the court as soon as possible. If you want to see more in-depth breakdown of this lesson and many others, make sure to join us inside the Total Tennis Training Inner Circle where you can get cutting-edge tennis tips and strategies that can fix your weaknesses and improve your strengths. If you want to be a part of our growing online tennis community and get the best tennis lessons on the planet, go ahead and click the link below and we'll help you go to the next level with your tennis. I'm really excited to help you out and thanks for taking the time to watch this lesson today.